The Mediterranean Games kick off today, with thousands of athletes taking part in Tarragona. The event has also become an unlikely stage for a political confrontation between the Catalan president and the King of Spain. Hello, and welcome to Catalan News. The presence of the Spanish king in Catalonia has yet again caused protests today. This time it was in Tarragona, where the Mediterranean Games are being held. Even the Catalan president took part in demonstrations against the king. Although Kim Torra was about to cancel his attendance to the inauguration events, he ultimately announced he was going. We'll get you the latest on this and its implications, and we'll also show you some early footage from the games and get you all the details on San Juan, the Catalan Summer Solstice Festival. Political turmoil over the inauguration of the Mediterranean Games in Tarragona. The King of Spain's presence caused unease at the Catalan government for his role during the independence referendum. Pro-independence supporters criticized the king for condoning violence against voters, they say, and taking sides in a political debate. Catalan President Kim Torra was about to avoid him, but he finally decided to go. Kim Torra, the Catalan president, and Felipe VI, the king of Spain. Until today, it was not clear whether they would meet at the opening ceremony of the Mediterranean Games in Tarragona. The president's request for a meeting with the king had been turned down. Torra also asked Felipe for a gesture showing he retracted a controversial speech last October when he made no reference to police violence against independent supporters. The gesture never came. Torra considered staying away from the ceremony in protest. Finally, he took a decision. Avui seré. Aquests jocs es fan a Tarragona, es fan a Catalunya i s'han organitzat i pagat, sobretot, des del nostre país. I nosaltres i serem perquè és casa nostra. No foragitaran el president i el govern del país de casa nostra. The Spanish government welcomed Torres decision but rejected the criticism of the king. He de decir que el rey cumplió con su obligación el día que hizo su declaración solemne, eh, cumplió con las obligaciones constitucionales que tiene la corona, afirmó el poder de las instituciones españolas. Meanwhile, a member of Spain's ruling Socialist Party, the mayor of Tarragona, was happy to avoid an uneasy situation at the institutional level. I understand that the situation is very complicated, and I understand perfectly that it is a difficult decision to make. To prendre. Finally, to me, what I'm talking about is the decision that I finally took, and it's what I value more. Yet Torra made it clear that although he was attending the inauguration, the institutional relationship between Catalonia and the Crown would not be restored. Torres said that neither he nor any government member would attend any event organized by the monarchy, and nor will the Catalan government invite the king either. Torra also gave up his honorary title as vice president of the king's main foundation in Catalonia. The president also made a point of giving the king two reports by the Catalan ombudsman denouncing police violence and the legal case against independence leaders. The presence of the Spanish king in Tarragona prompted some protests in the streets mostly against him. Pro-independent supporters took to the streets to defend the Republic and reject the monarch's presence in Catalonia. Wearing mostly the color yellow, they chanted against Felipe VI, who is becoming increasingly unpopular in the country for how he reacted to the referendum and the Spanish government crackdown against it. Beyond political controversy, the Mediterranean Games kicked off today with competitions already taking place in its venues. From today and until July 1st, almost 4,000 athletes will compete in the southern Catalan city. Today, competitors were already filling the buildings with men training in the swimming pool. Athletes will go for gold in 33 different events taking place in Tarragona and 15 other venues in Catalonia. A total of some 150,000 spectators are expected to attend the Games, along with hundreds of Games officials and committee members, and 1,000 journalists from media outlets all over the world. It's awesome. It's really great. That's awesome. It's great because that uh, is open door swimming pool, and I like open doors. Are you planning to visit Catalonia this summer? Well, take a look, because places are quickly filling up in most tourist areas. Forecasts suggest a repeat of last year's record figures, with occupancy rates of between 70 and 90% around the country. 
establishments on the Barcelona coast expect exceptional occupancy rates, while in the Catalan capital, tourist apartments are already just about full until the end of August. Other areas of the country are also looking forward to a bumper summer, with hotels and rural guest houses in central Catalonia in areas near Montserrat with almost full occupancy rates. In the Pyrenees and Lleida, more than 600,000 are forecasted to visit. Midsummer Eve or the Summer Solstice. This celebration is one of the most ancient in the world, an acknowledgement of the sun and the changing of seasons. In Catalonia, though, it's celebrated a few days later and under a particular name, La Nita San Juan. It's also called La Nita Foc, the Night of Fire, and it's filled with ancient traditions and revelries. San Juan closely coincides with the summer solstice, a holiday celebrated worldwide with fire symbolizing starting anew. This is done in various ways. First, there are correfocs, the runners dressed as devils, brandishing torches from which sparks fly. Then there are fireworks, not only a popular attraction, but also an important source of revenue. Sales are estimated to match last year's at about 18 million euros. The more solemn Flama de Canigó is a flame that never goes out. It's taken throughout Catalonia to light hundreds of fires, including in Barcelona. This tradition was started in the mid-50s, and its survival across borders through the Francoist dictatorship has become a symbol of Catalan resilience. Perhaps the most well-known element of the celebration is the bonfire, known as fogueras. They are to be found all over, lived in contained, safe areas, and most often enjoyed on the beach by the sea. But San Juan is more than just what flickers and burns. The sweet flatbread coca de San Juan cake is typically eaten on Saturday night, while herbs and water are also traditionally tied to the festival, symbolizing remedy and healing, which is also why some will bath in the sea, and with revelry comes caution. The Department of Home Affairs has heightened security this year, with additional police officers, squad cars, firefighters and checkpoints set up. And as each year, a large cleanup operation will kick off as soon as the party ends, to make sure the beach is as good as new, something everyone should help with. And with this, we finish today's show. We leave you with some images of Las Fallas de la Pobla de Segú in the Pyrenees, a tradition with fire that comes also as a beautiful one these days. Enjoy, and see you next week. Africa.